What if everything we know about reality is just a shadow of the true nature of the universe? Is our life just a coincidence? Or are we part of something bigger, something beyond our understanding? What role does consciousness play in shaping our world? And what happens to it after death? In today's episode, we will dive into fascinating theories at the intersection of science and philosophy that might shed new light on age-old questions about life, death, and our role in the universe. Can our thoughts influence reality on a quantum level? What exactly is consciousness? A biological process, or perhaps a fundamental element of existence? And what if death is not the end, but a transition to another form of existence? In this video, we will combine the latest theories of quantum physics with philosophical and spiritual concepts. Together, we will explore how ancient beliefs about the soul, consciousness, and life after death might surprisingly align with modern scientific discoveries. If you're fascinated by the universe's greatest mysteries, this episode is for you. Let's get started. What happens when we die? Is life just a random combination of atoms? And does death mark the inevitable end of consciousness? Or is there something more? Something modern science is only beginning to grasp? These questions have accompanied humanity since the dawn of time. Philosophers, mystics and scientists have spent centuries exploring the mysteries of life and death, seeking answers in the stars, atoms, and even within our own consciousness. But perhaps, instead of seeking simple answers, we should reflect on whether these questions point to a deeper, fundamental truth about our existence. Dualism of the soul and body, an ancient theory in a new light. Since ancient times, people have pondered whether the soul is separate from the body. Plato believed the soul was immortal and existed independently of the body, with the body being merely a temporary shelter. Eastern spiritual traditions, such as Hinduism and Buddhism, also embrace similar ideas of reincarnation and spiritual transcendence. However, modern science typically views consciousness as a product of the brain, a complex network of neurons that processes chemical and electrical signals. But what if that's not the whole truth? What if consciousness is more than just a biological function, and the soul described by mystics for centuries is real, but eludes our current understanding? This is where quantum physics comes into play, changing how we perceive reality. The principles governing the smallest particles of matter may seem entirely disconnected from everyday experience, yet they suggest that our understanding of the world is incomplete. Quantum Physics and Consciousness Quantum physics, the field that studies the smallest units of reality, reveals that the world is not as simple as it appears. Elementary particles such as electrons, photons and quarks do not behave according to classical Newtonian laws. Instead, they can exist in multiple places at once, and their state depends on the act of observation, the so-called Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. The double-slit experiment, in which an electron passes through two slits simultaneously and changes its trajectory based on whether it's being observed, suggests that the act of observation influences reality. But what does this have to do with consciousness? Some physicists, like Roger Penrose, propose that consciousness is not just the result of neuron activity in the brain, but is linked to quantum processes. In their theory, consciousness could be a side effect of quantum phenomena occurring in the microtubules of neurons, meaning it's not purely a biological phenomenon, but rather a fundamental aspect of the universe. Consciousness as a fundamental part of the universe. If consciousness is linked to quantum processes, it may mean that it's not limited to our physical brain. There's a theory in physics known as panpsychism, which suggests that consciousness isn't a trait unique to complex organisms like humans or animals, but is a fundamental property of matter. In this view, even the smallest particles of the universe could possess a degree of consciousness and our more complex experiences are simply a result of this fundamental characteristic. 
This is a striking reminder of ancient beliefs. In Hindu tradition, there is the concept of Brahman, the universal consciousness that permeates the entire universe. Individual consciousness, or Atman, is merely a manifestation of this larger, all-encompassing awareness. Similarly, if consciousness is a quantum feature of the universe, our individual existences could be just transitory forms of a greater global consciousness that we are part of. Chance or destiny? Let's now consider the question, is life as we know it just a coincidence? Many scientists point to the fact that life on Earth emerged due to the precise fine-tuning of conditions. If gravity were slightly stronger or weaker, if the value of the cosmological constant were different, the universe might have been entirely inhospitable to life. The theory of the multiverse suggests that our universe is just one of an infinite number of other universes, each with different settings for the fundamental laws of physics. Perhaps life arose only because our universe happened to have the right conditions, while other universes may be entirely different. However, much like philosophical discussions about destiny, one can ask, is the fact that our universe is conducive to life truly a coincidence? Some theories suggest that the universe is, in a sense, tuned for life, and the development of complex biological forms, even consciousness, is an inevitable consequence of its physical laws. This echoes ancient beliefs about the universe as a harmonious whole, where everything has its place and purpose. Another fascinating theory is the concept of the holographic universe. It posits that our three-dimensional reality is merely a shadow, a projection of information stored on a two-dimensional surface. In a way, what we consider reality might just be an illusion. Much like a hologram appears three-dimensional but is encoded on a flat surface. Such concepts again remind us of ancient ideas. For example, in Buddhism, the world we perceive is an illusion, Maya, a veil that hides the true nature of reality. Only through awakening can one see the true, hidden nature of existence. If our universe is indeed holographic, then our perception of reality might be limited by our biological senses and mind. What we consider to be real could be only a fragment of a larger, deeper truth. In this context, we can consider the question of death. If the reality we know is just one of many possible forms, perhaps death is not the end, but a transition to another form of existence. Maybe another universe within this holographic model. Perhaps consciousness, linked to quantum processes, doesn't cease to exist after the body's death, but simply moves to another dimension of reality that is currently invisible to us. This mirrors ancient beliefs about life after death, from reincarnation to concepts of the afterlife. Even in Christianity, the idea of resurrection assumes that death is not the ultimate end, but a passage to a new spiritual life. Although many of these theories sound like science fiction, modern science continually pushes the boundaries of our understanding. Quantum physics, the holographic universe, panpsychism, all of these suggest that the world is far more complex and mysterious than we ever could have imagined. It's possible that future discoveries will revolutionize our understanding of life, death, and consciousness. We may learn that we exist in a multidimensional reality where death is merely a transition to another state of existence. Or we might discover that our consciousness is, in fact, part of a global quantum network that permeates the entire universe. For now, however, we remain with questions. These questions not only lead us to reflect on our place in the universe, but also open us to possibilities that go beyond our current knowledge. As the ancient philosophers said, 
I know that I know nothing. Perhaps our greatest strength lies in the ability to ask questions that take us deeper into the mysteries of existence. Will we ever find the ultimate answer to the nature of life and death? Or perhaps the search for these answers is the most important part of our existence. If you're fascinated by these topics and want to learn more about the mysteries of the universe, quantum physics, and how science intersects with philosophy, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Click the bell icon so you don't miss any new episodes. Also, check out our previous videos where we delve into other fascinating subjects such as the nature of time, multiverse theory and the possibilities of life beyond Earth. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.